Hello folks, welcome to the channel Chano Jose. Today we got this video that I found interesting if you can swap a battery with the engine running and we're gonna try this in this car and uh, I don't recommend doing it. This is just for uh, info or um, educational purposes. I don't recommend it doing it on newer cars because uh, the computer system. So this is just uh, showing you what would happen if you replace a battery on a car with the engine running and for that we're gonna show you the process and show you some tips you might want to do or needs to be done when you do a battery swap show you the process so with that let's get started before we get started i'm going to explain a little bit what to look for and what not to do so for those folks who are replacing a battery for the first time on their car i recommend that before you do anything you disconnect the negative terminal first and then you disconnect the positive terminal after you have disconnected the negative and then once you put your new battery in there you connect the positive first and then you connect that negative terminal then and then you tighten um, both and then you if it has a cover in the positive i recommend put one if it doesn't because this is going to save you from something that is going to touch the terminal and it's going to cause a short on your car so that's why there's this cover here is for a reason so in case something ground touches the positive that's the most common thing that happens so with that said also um, once you put your battery put your straps and your tightening down point because you don't want your battery bouncing around because acid will come out of this covers if it's acid battery and this is going to start spilling around your battery and this is going to start making a lot of mess and it's going to start rusting your car and plus that's not healthy it's an uh, acid so if you get it on your hands you got to wash your hands for like example me right now i touch this i gotta wash my hands before we get into our car because that might get into our clothes and it can damage or even wipe our eyes and then uh, get some acid in there so we need to wash our hands before we touch our face as well because this chemical is really harmful to the skin it can irritate and create um, it's, it's not good for your for your skin and you might be asking what this sock is doing in a car right now well the reason is that I'm gonna do this I'm gonna disconnect these terminals remove the battery but even if there's no battery in the car there's still power to these terminals from the car being f the battery gets fed from the alternator so that means that this terminal is going to be having positive so we cannot let that uh, sit or touch any of the frame on the car so what we're going to be doing once we pull the terminals out pull the battery out we're going to make sure this never touches the ground because if that happens it can cause a short or even a fire so we're going to protect it with a sock over it in the meantime we do our swap because sometimes we just drop it and we forget that if the engine is running the alternator is doing its job and there's going to be power to this so what we're going to be doing is protecting from touching the frame and before we get any more noise i wanted to explain this so with that said let's get that car going and we'll do the swap we'll do the 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 removal and swap of the battery so we got the engine going hopefully the noise of the engine is not over my voice but uh for that uh, we're gonna explain that I'm not I'm not recommending doing this I'm just showing you what would happen if this engine while it's running we swap the battery what would happen will it stay on will it shut down what would happen so now like I said we'll do the procedures remove it and put it back on we have removed our battery and there's no battery feeding the car only the alternators running whatever is needed for the engine so at this point we have our negative disconnected positive disconnected protected from touching the ground so that way it never touches and it doesn't create a, a short so what we have done is that now we get our new battery we got our engine running 
and then we can put our battery back in and plug everything just like it would be normal in a car. Well, folks, we hope you have enjoyed this video about uh, removing a battery and having the engine running while it was uh, being removed. And uh, we don't recommend doing this. This was uh, for a showing purpose, only what would happen if you remove the battery out of the car while it's running. And in this case, it stayed on, nothing happened. We put it back in. But one thing is that don't, don't because the due to the engine running, even if the battery is not there, you still got power on the terminal. So be careful not to touch him and uh, make a short or uh, create a fire. So hopefully you have enjoyed and find this info useful. And we'll see you soon with more videos here on the Canal El Chano Jose.